Yeah, I didn't see that at this moment. Uh, right now, you might be asking yourself, what on earth does Seb Sanford have behind his back? Well, for my 21st birthday in quarantine, um, this is one of my birthday presents that I got, and you might have seen this background behind some of my recent trailer reaction videos, and I got a giant green screen right behind my back. And, and to be honest with you, I didn't put the trailer behind my green screen because I'd rather stick with the editing style that I have on my normal trailer reaction videos. Me reacting to a trailer on my computer screen whilst the trailer is somewhere on probably one side of this video. Um, uh, any side of the video, actually. <sighs> Anyways, for this video, I thought I might want to mess around with the screen screen by going to some of my favorite places in the world, even though we, I can't go there until further notice, until the entire, entire world is out of lockdown and everyone has been vaccinated with the COVID-19 vaccine. But me, I'm vaccine free. So uh, let's, let's go and have a virtual tour of some of my favorite places in the world by using this giant green screen behind my back. So let's get started. Now, let's say you want to go to Paris, France and you see the Probably you see the Eiffel Tower somewhere in the background and the tower and the Notre Dame Church and probably the French River, but I don't see a Statue of Liberty somewhere because it, it was originally a gift from France, um, uh, from France over to New York. Um, I'm, oh, well, probably I'm going the wrong way. Um, I can't tell which side of the city is which, but it is Paris after all. I do miss Paris. Um, two and a half years ago, but I'm willing to go back there for 2022 at least. And probably once this whole COVID situation is finished. Anyways, um, on to the next destination. Let's say you want to go to um, Orlando, Florida. That's at the southeast tip, and you see the wonderful sunset on on the beautiful beaches of Orlando, um, Florida. Um, probably some tropical palm trees and a little river, and probably. A rainbow somewhere in the corner, I don't know. I don't see a river, but I do see some swans. I, I can see some swans on the river, but I can't tell which way I'm looking at because I'm recording the video on an iPhone. And, and I see a water fountain. I know I see a water fountain in here somewhere, but I don't see any beaches, but I think this is just a pond or probably a river, a little bit of both. But I do miss Orlando. I haven't been there in like a decade. Now, let's say you want to go to your favorite Canadian city, that would be your Toronto. And you would see a beautiful, a beautiful close-up of the CN Tower, one of the seven wonders of the world. I think it's one of the seven wonders of the world, of the CN Tower. That's the building where Drizzy Drake sat on. He was probably photoshopped on one of his albums of Views from the Six, because Toronto is the Six, and it's the Canadian city. and. And you can also see the Rogers Center somewhere in the corner, uh, it's the next door neighbors. And you can see your favorite, um, you can see your favorite Canadian baseball team, and probably some of your favorite artists perform there, like the Joe Bros and Shawn Mendes, and probably even uh, probably Dua Lipa. She could, she could, she could, she could, she could perform at the Rogers Center for the Canadian audiences who enjoyed listening to her music. I enjoyed listening to her music. Anyways, Toronto, I miss Toronto, and here I am virtually, even though behind me is a green screen. Hopefully I'll be able to go to Toronto, probably maybe somewhere this year in the summer holidays, and probably once Canada is vaccinated. Hopefully uh, Toronto and the rest of the provinces of Canada will be vaccinated soon. Now, next up, next destination. Let's say you want to go to a fictional, a fictional little town somewhere, um, which is shown in the Marvel Cinematic Timeline. Let's say you want to go to Westview, even though it doesn't exist. And you really want to be next door neighbors with Wanda Maximoff, aka Scarlet Witch, and Vision. Um, uh, it's all black and white. Uh, I don't know why I'm all black and white. Because I'm in what Wanda is in my mind right now. I don't know why I'm in Westview, why everything is black and white, and she's controlling everyone. I, I don't understand why she's controlling me, but should I leave the black and whites? Should I leave the black and white stuff alone and and probably say goodbye to Westview for season two of Wandavision? Which, which side is the side? I can't I can't even remember which side of Westview is which when you enter it. 
and it's making me a little dizzy. Now, let's say you also want to go to your favorite theme park, uh, like Canada's Wonderland. I don't have a photo on me right now, even though it's going to reopen sometime soon in May outside of Toronto. Uh, but let's say you really want to go to your favorite Disney theme park, even though it's shut down. Don't worry, we've got you covered. Let's say you want to go to Disneyland Paris. Um, it doesn't reopen until April 2nd. That's on the day after April Fool's. Uh, the day after April Fool's. And they're already beginning to start. They're, they're already refurbishing the Sleeping Beauty Castle in time for the park's 30th anniversary next April on, on in the spring of 2022. It's one of my favorite theme parks in Europe and probably, out, and probably outside of the UK. And I can't and I and I can't wait to see what Europe Disney has in store for us, and the Disney fans of Europe, and probably for those um, all over the world who are planning on visiting um, this European Disney theme park. So yeah, I think those are some of the top destinations that you could see with me virtually, even though we can't go there anymore. And hopefully, the whole world will be open uh, as soon as we're all vaccinated. Yeah, I think that's all I have to say, and that's my green screen video sorted, and now the destinations are gone, and we're back to normal green screen. Anyways, thanks for watching this video with me, thanks for traveling virtually with me, um, if you like what you just seen, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to stay for new videos, hit the bell, and follow me on my socials, links in the description, and make sure you don't miss out on any trade reaction videos from me, and probably some unboxing videos and vlogs as well. Anyways, thanks for watching, and... Happy traveling, virtually. Um, should we have a sign uh, somewhere behind me whilst I get out of my working space? I'm gonna take this chair with me.